Designing Spaces, along with our friends at Chevrolet, presents Military Makeovers. Teaming up with companies from around the country, together we lend a helping hand to the families of those who served. These are families just like many found across the nation, facing tough times. But in each case, there is a loved one who has made a commitment to defend the United States of America. Designing Spaces and our allies move forward with a program of military makeovers with the express purpose to show our appreciation for those putting their lives on the line to keep our great nation free. Right now, let's go inside and see how our military makeover is doing in the Clark family home. such great work. It's great to see you. Yeah. It's been fun. Absolutely. I'm so happy to see you. Well, you did a great, great job here. And I have to ask you, you know, looking at the before photo, what was your inspiration? What came to your mind to create this? Well, you know, the first thing we wanted to do, we talked with Rhonda and Jonathan, and this is the first time that they're not living in military housing. Right. So they have the ability to really personalize the bedroom and make it their own. Mm -hmm. It's a large space, you know, which is a nice, unique challenge to have. Um, and they really just needed some help getting started. It's funny because people might think, oh, a large room, I want that problem. But it is because you try to fill it with so many different things. It's Absolutely. true, and I think the size of the bedroom actually froze them a little bit in terms of what the next step would be. Right. So we started with basically an, an empty room with some pieces of really good furniture, mm -hmm. but no sense of the couple who lived here. Mm. So that was the challenge. And that's what you need to do. Okay, so what was the first thing that you decided to do? We actually painted the walls, and in a room this large, you can actually play with color a little bit. I don't know if you've noticed, but the back wall and all of the other three walls are actually the same hue, but different shades. I see that. I like that idea. So Usually, it's a different color. I like using the same hue. Yeah, you know? I'm not yeah, such a fan of the different colored walls, mm -hmm. but I think having the darker wall in the back really anchors the windows and the, and the headboard Absolutely. of the master bed. I agree. And right. the other thing that we really wanted to do was, again, capture the spirit of what they were interested in from the perspective of color. Mm -hmm. um, I think that they both have different views on what might be the perfect color for the bedroom. Uh -huh. um, Rhonda's a little bit more bold and adventurous when it comes to color, and Jonathan wanted something that was a bit more neutral. So you got to tie those two together. Absolutely. <laughs> and it's a common it's a common thing that we we find often. Color is is frightening to some people. Mm -hmm. So right. what we did is we chose a very cool neutral palette, mm -hmm. and it goes from blues to steel grays to lavenders. The curtains are silver, which I love that idea, but yet nothing silver on the bedspread. No, actually the bedding is all blues and lavenders. Beautiful color. And this, this is all Wamsutta. It's a debut it of a new collection from Wamsutta. So uh, the top of bed, uh, the layering pieces, the sheets, the shams, That's so really cool. comes together to create this you know, luxurious bed, which of course is one of the most important parts of the master bedroom. I want to jump in. It just, it's so inviting. Good, good, good. <laughs> and also what's really great about this pattern is it has scale. A master bedroom should have mm, scale. So okay. you see the draperies, mm -hmm. the oversized curtain mm -hmm. rods, okay. the uh, metal bases behind mm -hmm. us the bowls and candlesticks over there. Everything is about scale and grand. Is it because the room is larger that you want to have larger accessories? Is that exactly. the reason? Okay. Exactly. Yes. Okay. We also looked at the positioning of some of the furniture, so mm -hmm. you'll notice the chest behind you yeah. had been in a different position when we first arrived into the room. Right. And we wanted to be sure that there was enough of a break of wall space around it. So we've centered it here and then anchored it with this gorgeous um, piece of art behind you. Um, and I think that that helps to pull together the wall over here and tell you know a complete story. Now Rhonda was unsure with the artwork, right? Exactly. So this is kind of a step into what kind of artwork you can put into the room. Exactly. Absolutely. So we introduced a piece here and I also like two pieces over there by the far side. 
Our work is hard. It's difficult sometimes. You're like, do you match the bedspread? Do you match the wall? Do you not match anything? So I, I mean, I always turn to you guys because you know it all. So you always tie everything together. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, for our viewers watching, how can they express their own style with their bedding? What's some? What are some good advice tips? Well, the thing about this room is it looks grand and it looks expensive, right? It does. It really wasn't. This really? whole transformation was under a thousand dollars. It looks more than that. The great thing about Wamsada is it's about color and quality, mm. so you can play with color and really have a luxurious end result. As we do here. And Absolutely. the comforters are sold as sets. So it's sold as a comforter um, and the coordinating shams, and that helps you again get started on building the components of the bed. Right, and I noticed you have a different color sheet too. So that's just kind of incorporating the same color family, but not exactly Absolutely. the same color. Right, and not to be afraid to experiment a little bit with color. Okay. Um, this is you know, a perfect example of a comforter cover that has a lot of different colors that you can play with. Right, so you could pick whichever you want. Absolutely, you could change out the sheet so that you, you're not always um, playing up just one note. You can really create different looks that way. Do you recommend doing the color on the bed as the same color on the wall? I would say it depends. Okay. You know, this is a room that we really wanted to create this serene, almost hotel-like feel. That's how I feel. It does. And feel the like... color kind of envelops you, and yeah. then it does carry through to what you see on the bed here. But it doesn't necessarily have to be the same. Mm -hmm. You know, in this case, it worked out really well. You mentioned the picture behind you. Right. Don't feel like every piece within the room has to match exactly. Okay. You know, sometimes that pop of green is really what it uh, you know takes to, to pull it all together. And I think that's something we need to learn because myself, I know I feel. Like everything has to match for it to go. You just have to love what you put in the room. Okay. If you do that, then you'll that love the room. That is all good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Now, where can our viewers find all the the things that we've used here today? The accessories, the bedding. Where can we go? Well, the great thing about all the bedding that we used is that it's available in stores now. Oh, okay. Um, and also available on Wamsada.com or stores like Bed Bath & Beyond. So oh, all perfect. of this is available if you wanted to recreate the same kind of setting in your own home. Yeah, I might have to do that. <laughs> well, Edward, Cindy, thank you so much for being here today. And I think we should get out so the Clarks could come in and see this so room. Excited. That would be great. Love that would be great. Yeah, let's go. Okay. It's a military makeover here in the Clark home where Designing Spaces and Chevrolet present the group efforts of our partners with the express purpose to show our appreciation for those putting their lives on the line to keep our great nation free. Having Designing Spaces in our house the last few weeks has been exciting. It gives you a whole new outlook on how TV shows are put together. Um, your crew has been fantastic. I love it. I'm actually going to miss you all. A lot, <laughs> but I really appreciate everything that you all have done for us. I like the bedroom. It has got a guy's appeal, but it's got a girl's appeal as well. There's a little bit of purple, but I dig in the blues and the silver, so it's very uh, appealing to the eye. The biggest surprise has been how much energy and people and time it takes to put it together one of these shows. Uh, there are countless Marine soldiers and sailors out there putting it on the line every day, and and my heart and my thoughts go out to y'all and I only hope that the people of this production company can do some more nice things to those marine sailors and, and airmen. I'd like to thank Operation Homefront for even giving um, the Marine Corps and military families a chance to have something like this done and to every single person on this crew, I'm gonna miss you guys. You guys have been great. I really, really appreciate all that you've done. Thank you for everything. On our next Designing Spaces Military Makeover, we complete our transformation here at the Clark Family Home with artwork. To see this part of the show again and to see the good people who made today possible, please visit our website at designingspaces.tv. For Designing Spaces Military Makeover, I'm Debbie Marie. You can visit these websites to learn more about the participants on this edition of Designing Spaces.